Today we're going to retrofit this case to fit a trap cap. You'll need a few tools, a lot of them you can find in your kitchen. I'm going to use a kitchen knife to cut around the edge, leaving yourself about a quarter of an inch to cut this foam out. Well, first of all, we don't need these in here. Don't lose your key. After you cut the edge, carefully lift this piece of foam up. Try not to rip it. Ooh. For filming reasons, I did this yesterday. There'll be a little bit of here junk. You can just scrape it out. Use a brush to get some of this adhesive out of here. Do the same thing on the other side. Cut around this foam and carefully lift it out. Set it on the side. Now you have to remove this piece here, it's a little ugly, and also, again, set it on the side. Now turn your case over, because this part is a little tricky. Now you could use a pry bar, going to use that kitchen knife again, or a putty knife. I used this. Wedge it in here and pop it away. There's a lot of glue in here. Just cut around the edge as you're popping it away. And the trickiest part is getting it off the bottom. You're not going to use this, so don't worry about wrecking this. You do want to release the glue that's under here. There is a lot. This, you're going to have to pry it off, chip it off, but it's going to be on the back of your unit. You don't need this anymore. Get rid of that. Pry this one off. Careful not to cut your strap. Again, lifting it out to just pull it out. Now it looks a little ugly and you need to protect these edges in case you're a trap cat you put it in the other way. So what I'm using is this piece and this piece that I took off. I'm going to fit it in here and using a pair of scissors just Cut the piece off you don't need. Same thing on this side. Now you're going to want to use some type of adhesive. You can either use a two-way tape, which we find doesn't work very good. Uh, this is silicone caulking. Just Squirt it in here, give it a chance to set, and use these two pieces also. Unless you don't mind the look of this, but we do. You're going to be using this part after for the bottom of your case, so save that. Save that. But now you can use these pieces to fill in the rest of your edging. And again, it you know, it's all on how you want it to look. That's a little tall. And like I said, this, you're going to have to scrape it off, chip it off, cover it with a piece of material that you might have laying around the house, an old towel corner. Okay, after you have this glued in, turn your case back around, use these two pieces, you want to lay them, because of the shape of your trap cat, your rim pads are not going to touch the bottom if you have this in here, but if you don't use this, the ripply shape inside here will distort your pads. It'll, it'll start forming to the shape if you leave your unit in too long. So what we suggest is again you use some form of, some form of adhesive, even two-way tape. Put that in there. Peel it off just so this stays in place every time. Do the same with this one and you can fit your trap cat.
Watch the corners. You can leave your brackets on. If you have the other bracket, the silver one, you can leave that on. Everything fits. And now your rims, as long as that foam's not touching them, it'll keep your pads up off the bottom of the case. Everything fits and you're ready to go.